Okay, describe jumping and parts of the jumping. Okay, a jump is an action where the character's entire body is in air, and both the character's feet leave the ground at roughly at the same time. Body is at the air, and the character's feet is in the ground at roughly at the same time, right? So, which is having four parts: crouch, take off in the air, and landing. Okay. So we can say what is the crouch? You know, starting force taken for the preparation for the jumping. Okay. Here we are having C, crouch, take off in the air, and uh, you know, landing. Crouch, take off in the air, landing. So crouch, it is a starting position taken for the preparation for jumping. Take off, it is nothing but the character pushes fast and straightens legs, and still on the ground. The distance from the character center of the gravity in the crouch when the character speed was to just about to leave the ground, we can say we say let us the push height. Here is the push height. See from where it is taking out, and uh, here is the push height. Okay, and the amount of the time that is needed for this push is called push time. Right, <coughs> and in the air, both the character feet, uh, you know, character feet are off on the ground, and the characters, you know, center of gravity moves in the parabolic arc way. We can say, and first, you know, when it reaches the apex, apex in the sense, this thing here we are having apex, apex, see here apex, okay, apex. And then falls back to the ground at the same rate, and it is called the rose. The height to which the character jump is called the jump height, and it is measured from the center of gravity at the take off to the center of gravity to the apex of the jump when it is in the air. So when it from the air to the apex, uh, apex of the thing, we can tell <coughs> first reaches an apex and falls back to the ground uh, at the same rate when it is rose. Okay, and the height is called jump height, and which is uh, measured in terms of the center of gravity. Uh, take from the center of gravity at the take off, and to the at the apex of the jump. Take off to the apex of the jump. The amount of time the character is in the air from the take off of the apex is called jump time, and if the take off pose and landing pose are the similar, then the jump height and the jump time, and and same going are I uh, you know. We uh, are about the same going up as well as the same going down. What is landing? No, guys, uh, your I'll tell you. Again. Landing in the sense the character touches the ground and bend the knees to return to the crouch position. The distance from the character center of gravity when our feet hit the ground to the point of the character when stops crouching is called the stop height. Okay, from when our feet hit the ground to the you know. Uh, when her feet hit the ground of the point where the character stopped the crouching, is called the stopping point. We can say here, see, okay, center of gravity, center of gravity, and the stop height is not always exactly the same as the push height. Okay, to give a summary of this thing, crouch, take off in the air and landing. So when you are crouch in the sense, we are going for the jumping. Take off in the sense, what happens? Uh, you know the character pushes up and straightens up it like and moves upward, right? And also will what over here will get jump push height, uh, the certain height which will move from the ground to the certain height, and then push time also will be measured in the same way. And then when you when it comes to the air, uh, here also jump height will be there, the the what height from the apex to the apex uh, and uh, to the ground from the ground to the particular apex, right? And we can tell jump height and jump time, push time, and writing this thing. Write this thing: jump height, push height. Uh, you know, when it comes here, you can write push time and push height. Here, jump height and uh, this thing, how it is going on. And for crouching also, you can write. I mean, for landing, stop height and stop time. 